I hope you guys are all having an exquisite day. Easy Auto Fix here and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad timing chain or timing belt. The purpose of the timing chain or belt is to keep the camshaft and crankshaft in sequence. This is critical for the engine to run by allowing the camshafts to open the intake and exhaust valves at the correct time depending on the piston's position during the four stroke cycle. In some situations it also drives the water pump, oil pump and balance shafts. The location varies between cars. It's behind the timing cover, usually in the front or the left side of the engine. The first symptom is having your check engine light on. Here's some codes that I've seen correlated to a defective timing chain or belt. You'll need an OBD2 scanner to read the codes. I'll leave the one that I use linked in the description below. Now you can still have a bad timing chain or belt with no check engine light, so let's move on to the next symptom. The second symptom is hearing unusual sounds. While the car is running, a loose timing chain could be smacking the timing chain cover, creating a rattling, knocking, or clattering noise. On most cars, the timing chain should not exceed a half inch or more of stretch. If it does, it's best to replace it. The third symptom is poor performance. A stretched timing belt or chain could eventually lead to skipping a tooth on one of the sprockets. This changes the timing, resulting in the valves opening and closing at the wrong time during the four stroke cycle. This is why your car is losing power. The fourth symptom is a fast crank but no start. If you don't replace your timing chain or belt within the manufacturing specifications, it could break. A broken belt will fail to rotate the crankshaft and camshafts together, resulting in the starter only rotating the crankshaft. This reduces the torque needed from the starter, which is why you hear it moving faster. It's important to know that if you have an interference engine and the belt breaks, it could have ruined the valves and pistons due to collateral damage. If you have a freewheeling engine, you don't have to worry since the pistons and the valves have enough space to not clash. Good deal. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next one.